a couple of pieces looking at Alabama's chemical endangerment law, which is the law that's often used against women who use drugs during pregnancy. Um, and that's related to this issue because there's a couple different levels for the chemical endangerment law. And for women who have a pregnancy loss or a newborn loss, um, they can be charged with a, a, a chemical endangerment class A felony, which in Alabama carries a sentence that ranges from 10 to 99 years. Um, so yeah, this issue goes back to 2015 for me. Um, in Alabama, it really goes back further to, you know, more than a decade to the passage of the chemical endangerment law and sort of its interpretation um, by prosecutors to, to basically protect the fetus against um, maternal drug use. So that, yeah, we've, we've been covering this for a long time. We definitely have hundreds, if not maybe thousands of cases in Alabama at this point involving women who've used drugs during pregnancy. And that includes, uh, I believe we found uh, about 20 who had been prosecuted uh, with this law for after pregnancy loss. Wow. Brianna, when did this issue start bubbling up in Oklahoma? Well, um, in 2020, um, Oklahoma had a couple of court rulings that um, where the court ruled that women can be criminally prosecuted for using illegal drugs while they're pregnant. And a few years before that, um, there was a change in Oklahoma law that basically changed the definition of a stillbirth. Um, usually a stillbirth is a pregnancy loss after 20 weeks and uh, that triggers like um, under certain circumstances the state medical examiner uh, evaluates these cases and there was a law that was passed called Ashland's Law and um, it basically enabled uh, the state to change the definition of a stillbirth from 20 weeks to 12 weeks and pregnancy losses very early on sometimes started getting investigated by the state. If you want people to think otherwise of you more positively, then give them more positive experiences. Mm -hmm.